My Gemini, my Yanny Yang Gemini, yeah. What's up, twins? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Gemini? First and foremost, you guys, all kind of outrageous shit started happening when I started tuning into your energy. First off, live kicked me out, just like it did with cancer, okay? And then when I was really trying to fight it, it literally said rejection is protection. Okay, well, my guys with that one. All right, so then when I start channeling into your energy and land the angel messages, first and foremost, let me tell you guys, this is going to be a hell of a read. And yes, I'm going to cuss. All right, I am strictly going to be a channel. I definitely have accepted the um, the objective and, and, and the task of being a channel for my Geminis. You guys, a lot of you all are going through some massive changes for some of you all. This, this has to do with purpose, and you guys, this is going to be a hell of a reading. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. I'm going to cuss, okay? If cussing does not work for you, please feel free to uh, find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, okay? To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional. Sometimes we cry. We're going to laugh a lot. We cuss, all right? We share, we love, we grow, we enlighten. Posse vibes only. Oh, this is we one big happy family over here. All right. Um, to the returning subscribers, you guys, what's up, family? What's popping? Y'all definitely needed me in the building. Okay, you guys. Um, it's kind of crazy because I was dreaming of your zodiac sign for the last two days. Last night it was very intense. And um, even when I began to tune into the energy here, it was very intense. I have so much shit here within my intuitive messages, and I'm possibly going to give some more intuitive messages. I have a reading um, in about, we're really in about 35 minutes, you guys, about 30 minutes or so. So I'm not going to be very, very, very long. My wishes was to go live with you guys, you guys, but listen, it's going down. Let me first say, y'all got half of the damn Zodiac up in here, all right? But I definitely feel that it's messages behind each and every one. So I'm going to tune in um, to each and every message. And you guys, I was being called to transition my alignment of how my flow of the reading normally goes. So I'm having to, this is also um, a transformation for me in the midst of this moment. I have a Gemini Venus. So I'm being called to re redo my whole damn script here. All right. You guys, if you need a personal reading, uh, that information can be found within the description. This is general. So it's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. All right. I currently have a reading special and I'm feeling I'm going to be talking to a lot of my gems. All right. You guys check the community tab out. Let's get it. This will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Gemini. Okay. I'm going to give my intuitive messages first. Some of them. Um, okay, right now I'm gonna I'm gonna start now before I even read what I had uh recorded. Jealousy, manipulating, purpose, past life, timelines, <laughs> magnificent soul, vessel, purpose, life path, heavy heart. Rectification with children. Patience being tested. Breaking free. Time. This was a burden before. Soul remembrance. Conquering. Sex demon. Lust. Indecision. Indecisiveness. Following the heart, matters of the heart, manipulation, weaver, breaking of prophecies, guilt, deception, safety net, reflection of you. I also have harvest, medicine woman, charm. Manipulating timelines, narcissism, fear, prevention for mo prevention for movement, reflective deception, new love, mediumship, breaking cycles, new home, spiritual abundance, moving states, soul contract, private detector, air it out, fear of the unknown. Cage bird, jewelry designer, 
Stolen Records, Breaking Free, Starseed, Vessel, Lottery, Life Decisions, Sudden Wealth, Thief, Truth Coming Out, Spiritual Abundance, Paternity, Interpreter, Co-Parent, Strategist, Broke, Manipulator, I'm sorry, Broke Manipulator, Self-Mastery, Alchemist, Stalker, Business Affair, Obsessive Thoughts, Stagnancy, Outside Noise, Fear of Judgment, Breaking Ties, New Job, Test of Patience, Yes, Balance, Spiritual Protection, Divine Help, Energy Vampire, Children, Legacy. If the intuitive messages did apply to you, this is definitely your message, okay? I'm being told to start with the zodiac signs to fill out. I'm doing things a bit differently this month. Um, a lot of you guys are, a lot of you all, this has to do with twin flame partnerships. Some of you all, some of you all were fated in this life to have a child with someone. This child, understand that when you have these messiah seeds, you have star seeds, you have crystal children, you have indigo children. They usually come out and they usually are born into, into the most chaotic lives because they have to learn self-mastery based on their perception of how pretty much these, yo, you know kids, hero. Okay? And I definitely feel like for those of you who have adult children, you could possibly be seeing yourself in the, the, the shadow aspect of yourself and your children during this time. And you find yourself blaming yourself because things could have been done differently and decisions could have been made differently. And excuse me, you guys, I already knew this was going to be a very sensitive reading because of what I'm feeling. There is so much anger, animosity. There's so much hurt. There's so much bitter. There's so much self-blame, self-judgment. There's so much much hurt and it's been sitting here for some of y'all for a long time i'm talking to a group of survivors i'm talking to somebody who only know how to get it out the mud because that's the only life that they've been taught you don't know how to love you want to love so bad and god is trying to bless you through your finances through your faith through the through the through the protection of your children through the actual through the protection of your legacy happiness is destined for you but you are your own worst enemy standing in the way from a place of fear because you don't know how. It's okay to tell somebody you need help. I'm not going to apologize for opening up because I am literally being the channel for someone, several of you at one time. So I cry. We cry. We want we want happy family. We feel together. You guys got several angel messages, so I'm separating the angel messages from the actual zodiac signs that I received. <clears throat> you guys got nine people up in this motherfucker. <laughs> okay. First zodiac I got. Capricorn. I feel that some of you guys could be ending something around the Capricorn. There needs to be some type of completion of a cycle, okay? Or a cycle is trying to come to, the, some, to some type of completion, okay? Others of you, you have a faded destiny with the Scorpio, whether it's to have children with, okay, I am hearing children. So for some of you guys, it's faded for you to have children with the Scorpio. Others of you, this is a past life issue. Some of you guys could have also found yourself in third party situations when it came to children, okay? Again, star seeds, messiah seeds, kids that are magnificent, these souls that are old souls that are reincarnated through our vessels. It is an honor to be chosen by an ascended master. You thought you were broken, but you have never seen the amount of strength that you have shown yourself and that you will. Hold your motherfucking head up. <laughs> you that bitch. You that, you that guy. You that boss. Pick it up. You have Aries. Some of you guys could be starting something new. Some of you guys have a faded death, a destined path within Aries or within Mars energy, Aries or Scorpio. Some of you guys are coming to the completion of a cycle with the Sagittarius, okay, or you're choosing to. 
For some of you all, this has been prevented. Someone has been weaving. Some of, some of y'all could have also been uh, involved in someone using black magic. I'm getting a lot of mutable energy with that. This could involve Pisces, Virgo, Sag, or another Gemini, okay? You guys see stability with the Cancer. Some of you all could have possibly been trying to deal with the Cancer, but there's a level of someone not wanting to open up and be vulnerable. Others of you, there is some type of expansion that is destined to come in your life through a Piscean, okay? Um, this could be new love. This could also be business matters. This could also be collaboration. This could also be an understanding, wisdom, growth, okay? A lesson. Others of you could be pregnant by a Pisces. That could, okay, I'm hearing that. That could be a third-party situation. I got Taurus. There needs to be balance in the situation with the Taurus. Things need to be balanced out. Things needs to be needs to be rectified. And for some of you all, it's, a, it's, it's accepting divine intervention, okay? And some of you all, okay, this takes me back to this ca uh, cancer. I I was told to go back to cancer, and I was told to go back to Aries. Some of you guys with these energies could be finding change within yourself due to some type of narcissism or some type of recognition within yourself. You're needing to use it because it has to do, use it and transmute it because it's having to do with your soul path. And, the, and, and for some of you all, you're healers, you're empathic. So you're needing to stand your ground in order to recreate a, a, a stable foundation, but it starts within yourself, self-mastery. Some of you guys could also have a past life relationship with the Virgo, okay? Um, others of you, this could also be a twin flame relationship that you have with the Virgo. Um, same energy with Scorpio, Aries, and Taurus that I'm feeling. Um, others of you, you could also, some of y'all could be trying to find balance around an Aquarian. Um, and I got Virgo and Aquarius left, okay? With the Virgo, I definitely feel that there's some type of harmony to be had with the Virgo. There needs to be some type of rectification to a situation that does involve children or some type of family matters. And I'm also hearing that with Taurus, okay? Um, with Aquarius, okay, there, there needs to be some type of balance, some type of understanding. I definitely feel that we're dealing with two energies that are okay with being, um, with okay with being independent, but one loves from a codependent space and it's like they, they fight with their independence and the other one really don't even know how to deal with that because their whole life they've had to be independent. We're dealing with a survivor and a damn uh, emotional ass manipulator. OK, don't know. And, and the manipulation doesn't necessarily have to be bad because I feel like this person uses their wall as protection. OK, first angel message you guys got was clear audience. Archangel Zacchio. Notice the loving guidance that you hear inside your mind or from other people. There's a focus on your crown chakra. Some of y'all could be having insomnia, could be having an issue sleeping, okay? Some of you all are inheriting the gift of clear audience. Please trust yourself. Know that you ain't crazy and take, take that time to meditate in silence. Even if you're not listening to no meditation, using meditate that you can find meditation in nothingness and you can also find the beauty in nothingness. Some of you guys' patience are, is being tested and it's bringing me next to the next angel message. Some of you guys are also going to be receiving some type of massive crown show, uh, crown show, crown chakra download, okay? I definitely feel that things are being revealed to you in your dream space. Some of you guys are dreaming of different sacred geometry, like signals, symbols, and it has to do with you being connected to a past life, as well as some type of legacy or ancestral ancestral bloodline. It's meant for you to carry out a particular purpose here within this life, which does involve children for some of you, and for others of you, it involves something around mental health, okay? Healing, both. Patience. Archangel Jophiel. Your dreams are be are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Okay. So I definitely feel again there's a need for you all to connect solely with solely with your purpose so that you're not able so that you're not able uh, you're not sitting focusing on what's not working right with you. I definitely feel your patience is being tested. You may feel as if you're stagnant. You're not stagnant. Spirit is keeping you still in order to plan, plot, strategize. You understand? The next message that you guys got, and there's also having to do with some type of work or some type of um, expansion around the heart chakra. You need, you guys are needing to again distinguish the difference between a wall and boundaries because there is some. Okay. Next message you guys got is remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Speak your motherfucking truth. Some of you guys are being used as a vessel, um, as a vessel from, a, well, pretty much from a higher power. 
through archangels, through your ancestry. Some of y'all could also be dreaming of a father figure that could have passed over in the last seven to nine years, I'm hearing. But some of you all, this could also be the, in the last 11 years, 11 months, 11 weeks, okay? Some of y'all are being led by a father figure here. There's a focus on the throat chakra. Speak your motherfucking truth. Say what you mean, mean what you say, and show a motherfucker who thinks they're going to stand in your way, okay? The next uh, angel message you guys got was clairvoyance. There's a need for y'all to trust yourself. Stop blaming. Get out this place of guilt and master that shit. Align your shadows. The reason why you see through people, because Gemini see through people bullshit quick. The reason why you see through people bullshit is because you're in tune with your own damn shadows, but you stay in this place of keeping them quiet and judging them as if there's something wrong with it. Use it. Use it. And don't depend on nobody to give you that shit because even your shadow going to leave you in this dark. Think about it. Clairvoyance, Archangel Raziel, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love, listen to yourself, trust yourself. A lot of you guys may be seeing 444 a whole lot. There is a lot of divine intervention. Your ancestors, many of them got their hands in. Some of y'all got straight up spiritual goons, spiritual, spiritual beings that is literally fucking shit up on your behalf for another person to get this motherfucking realization that it's time to bounce back and get shit right. Do you hear the call? Do your ass hear the call? Trust yourself, gems. Okay, things are aligning for you. You may you're going through this proper. You're going through this alignment within self, and it has to do with the mind, the body, the spirit, in order for you to actually find, manifest, and harvest with that alchemy that lives within you. You ever wonder why y'all ass is a magician card? Think about it. Next message you guys got is divine order. Archangel Ragio. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlining order, okay? So for some of you all, again, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. For some of you all, things are exactly how they need to be, even on a spiritual sense. Some of you guys, some of you guys can't see the blessing of why you can't have what it is that you thought that you wanted. Some of y'all finna find out some shit and things finna come to the surface where you can figure out that shit was not what you needed and you actually dodged a bullet. You sitting up feeling guilty over not carrying somebody else's bullshit. Some of y'all are dealing with a very manipulative energy and it's karma time. It's karma season. Hope they ready. Courage is the next message that you guys got. For those of you who are dealing with legal uh, legalities, for those of you who had any type of injustice, for those of you who have been abandoned, for those of you who have been misused, for those of you who have gone through any type of um, unsettled, unsettled abuse, narcissism, emotional abuse, physical abuse, and you have not told nobody, or you are, you are shamefully accused even after abuse, Spirit is coming to stand in front of you to let motherfuckers know they had the wrong one. I'm sorry, whoever that's for. Just know things are being rectified for you. You the heavy heart I'm connected with. Courage. Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. Some of you guys I'm hearing could also be dealing with the father figure and actually needing to heal. Get that shit off your chest. Some of you guys are holding on to residual energies, abandonment energies, and you're not letting people in because you feel as if they're going to cut you before you even, before you even really allow yourself to truly live, live within the experience to, to grow, to expand. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Speak your truth. Use that throat chakra. It's okay to cry. If you gotta cry and say what the fuck you gotta say, get it off your chest. I don't give a damn if they don't care. Karma gonna make them care. But you said it and you took that back. Y'all don't fight nobody. I just I just seen red and I saw I heard temper. Don't beat nobody ass. Comfort. Archangel Azrael. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. Just know, again, you are divinely protected. You are spiritually protected. Some of you guys are afraid to say something that it is killing you. It's literally weighing heavy on your heart not to say. Speak your truth. And for some of you all, I'm hearing releases. So some of y'all, it has to do with breaking free from a situation. Write them motherfuckers a letter on your, on your way to the airport. Okay, on your landing, mail it to their ass. Let a, a genie in the bottle, have them send it to their ass. A, a damn stock, look, message in a bottle, send it across. Don't send it across Galveston because that shit ain't shit if you live in the Texas area. That shit may get sucked up by the oil and all of the debris and the bullshit. I think it's a whole Loch Ness Monster in the Galveston Beach. That's just my personal opinion. 
<laughs> the next, the last message you guys got was indigo and crystal children. Messiah seeds, star seeds. They are born in the most chaotic situations, but know that they will be the most testy, but biggest blessings in your life. Hell, you talking to one. Archangel Metatron. You have a bun, children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. Some of you guys have a path around helping children who have been sexually abused, but you're needing to connect with that aspect of yourself instead of just continuously pushing it away. You guys are put here to be protectors, to be the people who balance things out, to be the transmuters of negativity here within this dominion. Let me give a quick subconscious message. Yeah. Stop comparing yourself to other people or what you feel as if you should be during this time. Some of you guys are deaf. Most of you guys are going through a transformation, okay? And it's seeing the beauty in everybody and everything. Even the situations that you've come through, what has it created? It's created a, a strong motherfucker. Find compromise in situations. There will be compromises. People are willing to compromise with you right now, Jim, but you got to stop comparing apples with oranges. Some of y'all got to stop. Some of you guys are holding on to a situation that you know is not a sturdy foundation. It's dead, dead, dead. But this person, you could have opened up to this person in the past or this person made you feel as if it was safe, okay? it was safe, but this person you're starting to, now starting to notice this motherfucker got issues within themselves. Okay, um, some of you all could be dealing with someone who, has, who, who name starts with the letter M, C, D, W, B, S, R, D, T. X S. I don't know if I said S already. Some of y'all is G F. Okay. There's a need for you guys to relinquish this aspect of stress. Trust your inner guidance, okay? And in order to do that, you're gonna to have to let the things in which you can't control. You can't control other people's actions. You can't control they understand it. You can't control what it is that they perceive. You can't even control if they give a damn. That's not your job. That's God's job. It's your job to find compromise, to know that you put that compromise out there, okay? To know that you trusted your inner guidance because it's leading you towards expansion in your life when it comes to your prosperity, when it comes to your faith, when it comes to um, how you love, when it comes to your connection with your children. You guys are sitting here to break cycles, okay? And I'm hearing ancestral cycles. It's actually embracing, embracing what's in front of you and not focusing on what's the fuck to come because it's stressing y'all the fuck out. And some of you guys could be dealing with someone who's extremely greedy. Some of you guys are wanting to share during this time because I feel like some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who could have hid some money here or you could have hid some damn money, Gemini. And for some reason, there's a sense of projecting that fear out on other people or someone projecting that fear out on you or projecting their negativity on you. And because you guys are empaths, there's a need for you to protect your energy. Know what energy is coming from where. In this space of solitude, know when spirit is trying to separate you so that you can understand, you know, half of the time, this ain't even my motherfucking energy. This is somebody else's. And this is the space that you guys are in right now. Some of you guys are finding gratitude within where you've been. And it's about looking at every aspect of your damn self and knowing that you already won. You don't got to keep stressing yourself out. These motherfuckers, you get in the front row, so you, you, you're being sit, you being set down. You, you being kept still for you, so you guys can get a front row seat to someone's karma for some of y'all. And for some of y'all, it's actually seeing beneath the bullshit, beneath the smoke and mirrors that you've been seeing and actually acknowledging areas that needs to be, where you see that there could be progression. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful gems in love? Yeah. But some of you are, oh, that's funny, that's the first thing to pop out. The motherfucking magician, okay? You are the magician. Understand that you are the creator of your destiny. And for you guys, because you guys are mental energy, it starts within the thought space. So I see you guys going through this release and moving forward. And in doing so, once you stop giving a fuck, shit moves forward, okay? Especially if you've been feeling like you're having a slowdown in money or money is not... Um, as grand as you'd like it to be. Some of you guys feel as if you're not independent, which is why you're not making a move. Some of y'all could be staying with a damn earth sign because, or not cutting off a situation because you feel as if you're not going to be financially independent. Some of you guys feel as if, yeah. 
So you guys, your biggest fear is having to leave a person and come back and reconcile because you're not financially stable. This could have to do with the Capricorn. Others of you are rejecting rejecting an offer with somebody who just wants to come in your life and have sex with you. They you're not you're not building nothing. This person wants to hold on to you to prevent you from moving forward. Okay, and this some of y'all have had the opportunity or a spirit is giving y'all an opportunity to move forward, but some of y'all have the mother or father of your damn child that want to sit there and be a damn space holder. They want to give you a little bit of love, but this person really don't know how to love, but they want to be a damn space holder. They don't want to open up to you, but they want to control who the hell coming coming to your damn house and passing by your house at night time to make sure you and your damn kids safe. Speaking of that, some of y'all got a stalker. Some of y'all done put that thing on somebody. I'm here in Virgo. I also heard Sagittarius. I heard Cancer, and I also heard Leo. Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who is obsessive over you. This person, um, I feel like this person wants to come back into your world. You could cut them out. This person wants to come back into your world because they recently had a tile moment, but they don't know how. For those of you who are dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like yourself, I feel that you are going into a different cycle. This person could also be going through a transformation. And I feel that you're going to move away from this person. You're going to communicate that you're done with the shit. I feel that you guys have a great practical relationship, but I feel like you have bigger goals and this person is okay with being the same. Some of you guys are laying a situation to rest with an earth sign. And in doing so, you're going to find a love of your life, possibly in the form of a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Some of you guys who are dealing with the water sign who you have children with, this person is trying to stress you the fuck out because this person is unhappy within themselves. They feel as if they have been defeated because you moved on, because you were able to heal yourself, and this person tried to break your spirit. And because they could not break your spirit, then they're actually feeling the same emotions that they made you feel. Truth be told, okay, some of y'all are dealing with possibly another Gemini, Pisces, Libra, um, Virgo, Taurus, Aries. This person got mommy issues, okay? And some of you guys, there could be some secrets around um, a family situation that could be coming out during this time. And I feel that you guys are feeling a lot of anxiety from it, but there's no need to because it's destined for this to come out in order to free you from a situation. Since you couldn't do it, spirit is going to intervene and do it for you, okay? Um, somebody, yeah, somebody could be finding out that they're pregnant by somebody outside of their outside of their marriage or their commitment. This person could be a Scorpio. The person who you was dealing with could have been a Leo. Vice versa, y'all flip it, okay? But intuitively, you know that you have to leave something completely behind before something uh, that is divinely covered and protected could actually start. Some of y'all, some of you guys are revisiting your past because you walked away from something that was supposed to be something that is actually something that was divinely led and it had so much precious purpose on it, you walked away from it. This couldn't involve a Taurus, okay? <laughs> Others of you, some of y'all could be pregnant by a third party or be pregnant by someone who's a third party and it was divinely led to happen because this person was with someone who's karmic, okay? Some of you guys are just going to be by yourself and focus on your damn finances after releasing the situation. And doing and in doing so, you're going to become this damn queen of pentacles. Why is the devil card here? Some of y'all dealing with some, yeah. Some of you guys are dealing with a very, some of you guys are having a hard time releasing yourself from a very toxic situation. This, this situation. From, this, this situation is past life, okay? But some of you guys, you are dealing with the sign of Capricorn and you are in love with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you're in love with the water sign, okay? And some of you guys, this person, somebody's using your damn kids to have some type of attachment to you, or really, I'm just hearing to fuck with you. Somebody using your kids to fuck with you. Straight like that, okay? I definitely feel you, I see you laying a situation to rest as far as what you expected out of it. Some of you guys could have been holding on to a situation that you have. A situation that you have with somebody where you have kids because you don't want your kids to have the same cycle growing up that you had. So you're trying to protect that. But fear is saying protect your peace because your prosperity is at stake here, baby. Your time is at stake here. Your dreams are at stake here. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, some of you guys got a fire sign and want to come back and equally give and take. But this is because they seen that you moved on and started giving your love to somebody else. Uh, and I definitely feel that if you move forward, some of y'all have a fire sign and want to come back. They want to build with you. They want to grow with you. But I feel like this person have a hard time moving away from people from their past, okay? If you're dealing with um, the sign of uh, with earth signs, earth signs are trying to hold on to y'all. And I feel like it's in a preventive way. Like they don't want they don't want to open up and express, but they do want to. They, they want to be in your energy. Some of y'all got to get them fucking energy vampires out y'all have, okay? Um, and some of you guys intuitively know this shit, but you're still dealing with the person. I'm hearing cutting sexual ties. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who is attached to a succubus, to an incubus, succubus uh, spirit. I'm hearing Sagittarius. I also heard Virgo, and I also heard uh, Aries, okay? Some of you guys, yeah. 
Some of you guys got a uh, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming in. This person wants to reconcile. Some of y'all, this is a twin flame union. However, you're indecisive about it because you know you know what it is. I don't see victory moving forward, okay? Some of y'all are supposed to be with a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. Some of y'all are indecisive about it because you could have left the narcissist that was a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. But water signs keep coming in your midst for a reason, honey, okay? Some of you guys... um. Some of y'all are making amends with your children during this time. Some of you guys are uh, delivering some type of truth to your children. And I feel like it's going to hurt for a little bit, but it's going to cause a transformation where everybody can move away and move forward in a peaceful way. And some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the mother, with the father of your child. It could be um, Capricorn, Taurus, or an Aries, all right? I feel that you're, you're looking at what you've invested and you don't want to just walk away from it. And in doing so, some of y'all going to sneak the fuck away. <laughs> But in sneaking away, you become this motherfucking queen of pinnacles and accept your new new. Put your burdens down, be true to you, and be happy. And that is the outcome that you're supposed to have. Get out of your head about it, all right? So this is what I have for you guys for the month of July. I pray that this resonates with a lot of y'all. Y'all had me in my feelings crying and shit. But I will see you guys mid-month. And I love y'all, gems. Bye, booze.